to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing absolutely great, y'all. This is going to be your sidebar LOL. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. On the split, we got Soulmate and we have Loyal Heart. Okay, thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clear and precise messages. What is the message for this sidebar? LOL. Get to me clear. Good morning, you guys. Good afternoon. Whatever time of day it is, if this message finds you all, I hope it finds you guys doing absolutely great. All right. Y'all, I can't wait to do today's um blackout message i'm gonna do it later on this afternoon because i just had the most craziest dream but i'm trying to make sense of it all it doesn't make sense okay it kind of does now that i'm seeing this energy okay okay i just don't know what I, if, yeah anyway okay into this message we go okay <laughs> thank you angels and spirit guys thank you most high for clear and accurate messages all right, by the book, okay? This is talking about universal law, okay? Universal law. Um, for this read, you guys, there is someone who is doing some type of, they're, they're doing two things that's violating spiritual law, okay? Um, the first thing that they are doing is they are pulling cards on your energy or trying to pull cards on your energy, but they're trying to do it, excuse me, they're trying to do it with the intent of, they're trying to like rearrange or move around some energy, okay? And the reason I say this is because I saw this person pulling cards and the second thing that I saw is I saw it um, being tied to some sexual energy. So this person is not only pulling cards on your energy, but this person has also violated spiritual law because they're trying to do some type of sex magic on your energy. Okay. Um, since we've been sitting here, y'all, in my third eye, I have seen the sun and I have seen a star. Okay. Um, so a Leo and an Aquarius could be significant, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. So I seen them pulling this energy on you um, and they're trying to use this. It's like they're using the cards, the cards. When I saw them, they all had images of sexual energy. OK, it was every card had sexual energy on it, um, but it also had like uh, a regular playing deck of cards where it shows the pinnacle and the number. Um, or it shows the spade and the number, or it showed the heart and the number or the diamond and the number, right? That's how the cards were. So it was like from a, a regular playing deck of cards, playing, not playing, playing deck of cards. Um, not a regular tarot deck. I don't know if this is a deck that someone's created, um, that is all sexual energy on it. And they're trying to use it, um, to pull on your energy. Now, I couldn't quite understand what the, like what they're trying to do. I can just see they're trying to do something. I see one, one instance with them pulling the cards. The reason I say they're trying to move energy around is because at first when I saw the cards laying on the table, I saw one card out. Okay. I saw one card out. Well, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Truth be told. <laughs> I saw one card laying on the table. And so um, after that, I saw two cards laying on the table. The cards that I saw, I know for sure one of them was a four of pentacles and one of them was a three of something. I don't know what suit. Okay. So now the first card, I don't remember what it was, but it has something written on it. And I can't remember what it said, y'all. But anyway, something was written on the card. Um, so they're, they're using these cards to do something or to pull something or try to figure something out. And I can see it. Okay. Um, let's see what else comes out for this read. Thank you, Angel and Spirit Guys. Thank you, Most High. Heavenly Father, what is going on here? What is this person? What is this? What is this sidebar LOL? See, the fact that it's coming up in this sidebar LOL lets me know that there's a funny in it. And I think always the funny is that it's not going to work. They're going to try something, but it's not going to work. And it may not work because I've spotted them. I can see them. Okay. So whoever is doing this to you, 
I feel like it's not going to work because you have someone on your team that can see. Okay. Okay. Observer. Okay. They don't want you to see this because this really did show up like this when I picked it up. But I don't read these cards in the reverse. So, um, yeah. The Observer. Okay. The Observer. So this person that you have on your team that can see, aside from me or someone else you may know, um, it's somebody, it's somebody, because I'm getting that this person is like in a distant space. They're like above everything else, right? This is the vibe that I'm getting. It's like there's somebody in a high place that's watching over, watching over something or watching to make sure that universal law is being followed, okay? This is the vibe that I'm getting here with this observer. So this person on your team that's watching, they could be watching from a galactic standpoint because the moon is here and it looks like sand, like doom, like, I don't know. looks like they could be on a planet. They're sitting on an egg, right? So this could be a cosmic egg. But anyway, I feel like the, the, the point is this person is watching or they could be watching from below. I'm not even going to lie to you because the sand energy is here, right? The sand and then they're saying so there's like some type of underground watching energy okay let's do it that way it's underground okay and when i say underground i mean like it's not made public this is not someone who's out in the open this is an underground an underground watching energy observer okay so someone from the underground this could be the underworld okay someone from the underground or from the underworld could be watching to make sure this could be Anubis energy I'm picking up on because Anubis does that. Anubis makes sure, you know what I'm saying, that things go to the way they're supposed to in the underworld and he caused judgment or pulled, you know what I'm saying? So this could be that energy that I'm seeing. I'm just not 100% sure. But anyway, let's, we'll, we'll get it. Spirit will give us the whole picture. So anyway, I saw those cards being pulled, okay, um, on your energy. And so, yes, yeah, someone's trying to do some type of sex magic or pull on your sexual energy. Okay, this is confirmation. And I just burped too. And then this is an owl. So watch your energy on this moon um, or whichever one is a moon. So there's someone from, th this is a cosmic energy. Let's break this down. At the bottom of the deck, you guys, we have orphans. Somebody's being left out in the cold. I feel like they're being left out in the cold because they had they didn't follow this spiritual law. Okay? They're not following spiritual law. They're breaking all kinds of spiritual laws here. The three of cups and the six of cups. This is some past, some someone from your past or a past life or someone you shared a past life with. Okay? This is a third party. So this could be anybody. All right? This could be anybody. It's just someone outside of you, okay? The high priestess is here. I feel like your past life abilities and skills and gifts are working for you very strongly at this time, okay? Because you have this deep knowing with the high priestess energy. You have an inner knowing about what this is already. You're like, I already know what this is. I can see it. And that's why things are going to be moving to smoother waters for you, okay? It's because of your past life gifts, your abilities, yes, and the Ace of Swords paired with that. It's because of your past life energy that you, whatever this past life spiritual gift is that you possess, that allows you to see this stuff happen. You, you're taking the bullets out of the out of the the gun, figuratively speaking, right? Because it's a vibe where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a vibe where. It has no, it loses its power when y'all call it up and out, okay? So when you guys sense that something's going on in the background, anytime you bring it to the forefront, you bring it to the to the collective streets, <laughs> um, or you speak to someone about it, it loses its power, okay? So the five of cups here, all right? The five of cups. So someone's crying, or they're going to be sad, or they're going to be crying, the knight of wands, Okay, because their actions were demonic with the devil being here. Okay, someone's actions, someone's behavior, their actions mainly are demonic. Okay, 
They're violating spiritual law. Someone's up to no good. Someone's is they're they're delving off into some form of darkness. Okay, let's clarify this observer energy. The tower. So whoever this is that's watching from whether this is a the underworld or from this cosmic place, um, they're about to receive some form. I mean, they're about to bring some type of a tower. That's why this person is going to be crying. Whoever this is that's not going by or following universal law. Okay. The moon. Whoever this is that's doing this magic. So with the moon coming out, someone's definitely creating some form of an illusion. Okay. That's what someone's actions, that's what their intent is. Their intent here is to create an illusion for you. Okay. But it looks like they've created this illusion for themselves. All right. With the round and round, it's like this energy is returning back to them. Okay. While you're over here having peace. Okay. And this is what's coming to light with this yang energy. And this is justice. Well, to be fair, this is what's happening right now, y'all. Okay. We're, we're, we're calling out something that's trying to occur right now. That someone tried to do right now. Okay. Like when you woke up this morning, someone could have tried to do this to you. All right. But they are actually being they're being put out, left out. OK. Oh, my goodness. This could be someone's ex. And I am saying that because this person has on a wedding dress. OK, but they don't look so happy. All right. So this could be someone, a divorcee. OK, someone you were committed to or married to in a past life or in this physical reality. OK. Can I get more on this observer energy? So this observer energy, this person that's watching to make sure that spiritual law is being followed, that universal law is being carried out, they're about to bring a tower to someone who thinks they're um, sly or slick, okay? Because this person, they clearly thought they were slick trying to pull on someone's energy, but they were being watched. Like, I was sitting there watching them. I'm like, okay, you just going to pull on my energy like that? Okay. Now, I couldn't all the way see the slick of the wrist like the, the the trick but i know what the i know what it was what they were alluding to i know what they were trying to do right so it doesn't matter that you don't know all the details you know enough to be able to call us call judgment on a situation i feel like that's what you're doing yeah the death card the death card you're putting an end to it okay oh the devil is dying at least this this demonic plan or this this demon okay is dying you're leveling up with the will of fortune okay so something's something's destined to occur <clears throat> this was never gonna work whatever this person was doing it was never gonna work you already know this because one no one no weapon formed against you shall ever prosper okay um, but for two, you're too divinely protected. Y'all, this morning I woke up and I saw angels in my room. I saw orbs of the lights of angels in my room, above my, my bed, on my ceiling. Lately, anytime I see a witch in my energy, right after that I see the witch, I see an orb of light. And it lets me know, like, y'all right now, your angels and your ancestors are fighting battles for y'all. So any of this energy that's going on, you really don't have to worry about it, but bring awareness, okay? I feel like spread awareness that this stuff does be going on. I feel like people don't be believing. Just because it's not happening to them, I feel like people don't necessarily believe that this type of stuff goes on. But this stuff does happen. And for us that are seers, we can, we get the, I feel like it's a, I, I wanted to say benefit. We get the benefit of being able to see this stuff occur. Now, I'm looking at this as a benefit right now. For some of you all, it may be a nuisance, right? It could get annoying that you constantly see when someone's trying to attack you or someone else. You can see when someone has hidden motives because hidden motives is definitely here with the Knight of Wands and the Moon card, okay? Someone definitely has hidden motives here, okay? And that's why destiny is at play right now. That's why whatever's about this tower, this, is, this tower was destined to, for this... For this energy 
Okay. Yeah. The high priest is confirming. Wow. The high priest has fell on this deep knowing, which we already talked about it. You already know what this is. You you have the ability to deceive somebody here. You already know. You feel it. You know it. You sense it. It's your gifts that's allowing for you to. You're putting. You're putting this to death. This is being buried because of your spiritual gifts. This devil. This devil is being buried because of your spiritual gifts. And because you have maybe you're the freaking view you're the seer you're the one that is is here either in the underworld or in the the class cosmos in this underground or this you know what i'm saying like you're able to, you're the one that can see it you know when people aren't following universal law you see them you're the one calling judgment you're the one calling them out it's because of your gift it's because of your inner knowing so it's you The seven of wands. That's why you're able to, to defend yourself. This is how you're able to defeat these, these dark energies and entities. Excuse me. Confirmation spiritual belch. Wow. So whoever you are, you're extremely gifted. You're so gifted that you can call time on people who aren't following universal law, who are in violation of universal law somebody you this is your this is a part of your purpose is to do this because not everybody can see not everybody can use their intuition not everybody uses it they can but they not everybody does right okay overall energy for this read oh the six of wands and the five of swords Okay, so the overall energy, wow, we get two energies again for the overall energy. We got two energies last night. So basically here, what I'm seeing, and what's at the bottom of the deck? The nine of cups. The nine of cups. So you're bringing in some type of wish fulfillment, or you could just be focused on your manifestations here. Okay, or a wish is being granted to you. But this is a vibe here where, or you're somebody's dream come true. You're a dream come true. My nose just itched on that. You're victorious with the Six of Wands over this Five of Swords. Somebody here, you could be well known for the fact that you can you can lay a demon, you can put a demon to rest. Okay? You can put a demon to rest. Six of Wands, the Five of Swords. So in any, anytime anybody's trying to sabotage you or someone else, you laying this, you laying the demon to rest. Nine of Cups, the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Hermit. God is highlighting this. You're so, you're this you're this fire signs wish fulfillment, the Queen of Swords, because of how I feel like how well you are in battle, right? The Queen of Swords talks about wielding the the head of the enemy. So somebody knows this about you. They know you're a demon slayer. Okay, uh, okay, demon slayer. You're a demon slayer. That's going to be the title of this read. Sidebar LOL. You're a demon slayer. So this is the energy of a demon that's being slayed. Wow. <laughs> somebody feels like you're, you could be like, somebody probably has said that you're lying or you're not gifted or Somebody could have felt like you were a trickster energy. They feel like this because they can't get away with their tricks on you. They can't they can't get away with it. And they can't figure out why out of like they can get away with it with everybody else. But why when they come into your energy, they can't get away with shit. It's because you have this deep knowing. It's because you're very wise. It's because you pay attention. You're very alert right? You could have nocturnal vision, okay? You have eyes in the back of your head because <laughs> y'all know the owl, when he turns his head, he can turn his head all the way around, right? So it's like you see what's going on 
in front of you, on the side of you, and behind you. You have three. You have a three hundred and sixty degree view of things. It's your gift. It's your superpower. You're a demon slayer. So you. So it's you. You. You're the one bringing. You're the one bringing. Uh. Hmm. If this is not you, you have somebody on your team who is. Okay. If this isn't you, then somebody on your team is a demon slayer. All right. Yeah, but I feel like a partner of yours, y'all could really, um, y'all cut for each other, right? Mm. I'm getting a vibe where this is the same demon. Wow, yeah, the Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Man, facts. This is like, <laughs> so God is highlighting this. Okay, now this Queen of Swords right now in the image that I'm getting is showing up as a different energy. This is so, this is this. This could be this demon, okay? Whose head you're carrying, all right? But the Queen of Wands is here. The Queen of Wands is a King of Wands match, right? And then the Ace of Swords is here. So you cut out any type of conflict, riffraff, brought by the magician, any type of anybody doing any type of magic, right? You free people. You free people from these demons. The Nine of Pentacles was right after that. So what I was going to say, did I say it? Oh, um, your partner, you could have, your this same demon, whoever this, whatever this demon is, this demon tried to do something to your partner. Confirmation. Thank you, spirit. Y'all, we be so on point. We be so on point over here. Okay. We be so on point over here. So this same demon tried to choke out your partner. Okay. They've been laid to rest now, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this read. Let's go ahead and pull a short and sweet on it. And then I got to get ready for work. Yeah, look, I told you. Them angels was up there above my bed this morning. Our angels surround you on the split. These people got to push through and try a little harder because whatever they're doing, it's not working. It's not working. They're unsuccessful at it. Why? Because you're divinely protected. You're divinely protected. I'm hearing, and you're too le legit to quit. That's why they traps don't work. Their traps don't work. It's a trap in the reverse. They traps, they can't set traps for you. They're losing their abundance as well by doing this. You're a shining star. Okay, we talked about Aquarius and a Leo being significant at the beginning of this read. So that's what they were doing with them damn cards. See, they don't have no love. Love out of this nebula in the reverse. This is what they was doing with them cards and with this sexual energy. Pulling on your energy, trying to do some type of sex magic or sex spell or something like that. Okay, or binding. I don't know what it was. It had to do with some cards, though. They was trying to figure something out. They over here wishing for your destiny because you're a shining star. Okay? They don't have no love. All right? But they need to be careful because time waits for no man. So this is an energy. Whenever you see this card, it alludes to some type of ending by unaliving. Okay? That's what it alludes to is life is short. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, angels are surrounding you. Okay? So they're not going to, they can play in your energy, but they, they, you're a demon slayer. Okay. So they end up getting slayed. I hope you guys enjoyed this read, my loves. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.